Now I'm aware that a fair few of you out there would like to start your own YouTube channels and expand in whatever area you desire, whether that's Minecraft Let's Plays, talking about redundant topics for 10 minutes, or of course, eating testicles. So today, I decide to eat a testicle. <coughs> Today we'll be looking at a channel called Semre Kandar. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right and honestly, I'm too racially insensitive to give a shit. The best way to sum up his channel is, do you remember that kid from school that wanted to die? He, he made a YouTube channel. Now, the majority of Semre's content is really uninteresting. It's just those cringy kind of Facebook videos. When your grandma is more thug than you. I, I think I just got cancer reading that title. Fuck. Yo, what's up, grandma? Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back. In a sense, videos like that are actually really nice because they're like a time capsule in a sense. Like 2012 PewDiePie before PewDiePie discovered self-deprecation and irony. Hopefully you're all aware at this point that most YouTubers go down this path of self-awareness. They'll just start off really cringy and awkward, much like my first videos, but then they learn how to actually shit talk themselves and put themselves down, which apparently gives you immunity in most situations. A lot of YouTubers have done this, and when I mean a lot, fucking all of them. But his most popular uploads that garner millions of views per video is him covering himself in various sources and food. One man with lots of chocolate. So, let's peel off the bathtub. All of these videos pretty much follow the same format. He gets something like Oreos or beer, does a little montage of filling up a bath while actually making quite sexually suggestive faces and comments. Now I'm just saying right, I love Oreos just as much as the next person, they're fucking delicious, but th this many right, this would have calculated to quite a lot of money right, I'm just saying. Plus on top of that as well, all the litres of milk, and this guy is uh, he's definitely adding up quite a lot of money to this video. So essentially this video is like the biggest promotional video for Oreos ever, or this guy's having an existential crisis, and the only way that could be sated was by buying tons of Oreos. Now, some of you might think, after he fills up the bath with milk and Oreos, that he might have some kind of analysis, a taste test, if you will. You know, have something to eat in there and just think, this is nice, this is a nice experience, Oreos are great. No, he, he doesn't do anything like that. He actually makes a bunch of baby noises and splashes around in there. He's probably got a raging hard-on underneath all that Oreos and milk. Fortunately, we don't get to see that. <laughs> Now hear me out, I'm not a psychologist or anything, right? But, the fact that this man will bathe himself in various foods and spices, and then proceed to make little yelps and smack his head in it, I think he may actually be suicidal, right? I, I'm just saying, I think he might actually be. This is a man that wants to die. He is not happy with his way of life. He's having an existential crisis. He spent all of his money, all of his parents' money, buying Oreos so he can drown in them. Now, I gotta be honest, if I'm gonna die, that's the way I wanna go out for sure. <laughs> now, of course, bathing yourself in milk and Oreos might not be for you. If you're lactose intolerant and have an allergy to chocolate and you wanna die, then go for it, definitely. But, if you wanna live, which hopefully applies to the rest of you, then you might wanna try and look at his other videos where he covers himself in beer. Now some of you might have a problem understanding what he's saying. It's nothing to do with his accent or his pronunciation, don't worry. It's mainly to do with the fact that he's recording this in a bathroom where there's more echo than a fucking church choir. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, it's not that bad, but yeah, you get the idea. This is where closed captioning subtitles would definitely come in handy. Now, a lot of you may think this is pretty nice, you know, just filling up the bath with some alcohol. Well, let me ruin that notion for you. Imagine this was Joey Salads, and I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll let you imagine the rest. Yeah, jo Joey Salads, uh, yeah, he likes urine. <laughs> Now obviously there's a few of you out there that are total masochists and you want to see nothing else but someone in absolute pain and if the milk and Oreos or the beer didn't get ya, his final video probably will. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the hottest bathtub that has ever made in the world. Let's do this. Twelve seconds later. Now the other videos were pretty tame, you know, I mean he was clearly getting some kind of sexual pleasure from them, but this one, he fills up the entire tub with hot sauce, throws a few peppers in there, and like, he's clearly uncomfortable in this video, there's a lot of pain going down, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, right, your asshole, uh, spices going in your asshole, he's gonna die, okay, I'm just gonna put this flat out, he will die, he's literally got peppers floating around in his rectum, that, that's, that'll kill a man. Dead. Stone, stone cold dead. On top of that as well, the peppers have literally gave him sunburn. A and as well, to accompany that, he's talking about dying. He's got royalty free ukulele playing in the background. Of course. Of course he does. Of course. I can still feel it like in every cell of my body. This video is actually quite educational. Don't bathe in chilies or you'll get gamma radiation poisoning. I'm actually a bit scared right now. I might go to a doctor. And don't forget guys, if none of these videos interest you, if you honestly don't care about a man submerging himself in dangerous liquids, then you can always watch him eat a testicle. <coughs> Actually, you know what? Eating a testicle probably isn't the best idea. I take that back. <coughs> <laughs> Sam Ray's channel as a whole is honestly quite weird because he's only been around for about nine months, which is honestly nothing in YouTube standards. He essentially makes two kinds of videos. One I'd like to call Facebook friendly videos, which is like the skits and all that kind of family friendly stuff that I just take no interest in whatsoever. And then the other videos, which I'd like to call existential crisis videos videos that you have no idea what you're doing act like a complete loser put your life in a lot of danger and get millions of views for it so congratulations semray you've you've done it <laughs> in conclusion semray kandar again i don't know whether i'm pronouncing his name right i'm probably not makes extremely weird content I'd say go to his channel and subscribe, but honestly, out of all the videos he made, four of them were actually worth watching, and that was for all the wrong reasons. But I do suggest you go check him out, maybe give him a sub. If you want my personal opinion, I think he should do bathing in 100 litres of virgin blood. But, you know, it's his channel, he gets to do what he wants with it, even though I think he should do it. Anyways, the video's 10 minutes long, I've got my ad revenue, you've wasted your time, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. So without further ado, I'll let Semray do the outro for today's video. If you couldn't understand anything he just said, tough fucking luck. I don't have subtitles. <laughs>
What's up guys, I'm Joey Salads. I'm here today with my good friend Stevie Croutons and we're gonna be doing the Islam versus Christianity terrorism social experiment. He's gonna be an Islamic terrorist, I'm gonna be a Christian terrorist and let's see if people act differently towards each one of us. 